Look at this town's garage. Hello ladies, in this video I have a first generation Ford, Fo Ford Focus. We're doing a flex pipe underneath over here. This is a 2.0 engine and this has a hole and it farts when it's driving. So we're going to go ahead and change this out. It's from here to here. Two flanges, we're going to take the four bolts off. And I'm going to do this without a torch. So this is a good video for the DIY guy. I'm going to use my favorite personal lubricant, which is Croil. And I'm going to put all this butter sauce on these bolts here. On top too, if I could get up there. I'm just going to soak these up. Alright, I'm going to use the air hammer here to loosen up some of this rust before we uh, take these nuts off. Uh, you can also use a chisel and a hammer, but I'm cool. I got a nice, beefy air hammer. Same thing on this side. All right, put a socket back here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna push this heat shield over a little bit, just to get some room so I can put my extension on the back over there. All right, now we're holding the other side. Try to impact this off. Came right off. Now this side. All right, now I'm gonna hit this with the air hammer a little bit over here, just to loosen up some of this rust. I'm gonna wire wheel this a little bit also. It's in, this is a real bad shape. I just put a deep socket here. I'm just gonna see if this will loosen. Get it a little bit loose first before I tighten it. That's good. This isn't going on, so you gotta use some persuasion with the BFH. I'm gonna just gonna tap the bitch like she owes me money. That's good. I'm gonna loosen that up too. That's also loose. Okay, now you see it's nice and loose here. If this doesn't come off, this is rusted on there, you could put a sawzall blade in here, cut it off, put a cutoff wheel here and, and slice this off. That's pretty much out, so we're just gonna zip it out now with the little impact I have. And zip her off. Okay, so this is spinning on there. We can't get a good grip on this one, so we're gonna use vice grips on it. <coughs> Woo! All right, now this isn't coming off. It's a little stripped. You could use one of these and cut that off or a sozo blade to slice that off. Now this actually fits the other side over here, so I'm just gonna pop it out of the flange. I'm sure what I'm talking about. See, this stripped so much that you can actually just pop it out like that. It'll come right out. So I'm going to tap that and it should pop out. Yeah, baby. Woo. All right, now this side. Yeah, buddy. And this is what was bad on it. I'm going to use a little cookie scotch bright pad on the surface of this flange here, the mating surface, just to clean it up a little bit. So this is what we're putting on, Walker part number 52489. It doesn't come with flange bolts, so you gotta get those extra. You go to Home Depot, 
AutoZone, whatever uh, sells bolts you get these from. I'm going to use some anti-seize on the threads of the bolts. And these are standard flange gaskets. You also need to buy those to do this job. I'm going to put the bolts in this way. and put the lock washers and the pair of nuts on it. And now the other side. So. All right, now push this back by hand. You can fit the other flange gasket over here. And the last one here. And tighten her down. And this side. Now this side. Tighten this one down. Now go on the other side. And tighten this one down again. Now all the way down. And you're good. Okay, now we have the car running. I don't hear anything, any exhaust leaks. And I don't feel anything. I felt up there too. Make sure you don't touch it when the car is running because you're going to burn your hand. And this is a job well done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like me, share me. Check me out on Instagram, Cloudy1969, Twitter, and Facebook. Sayonara.